Hey, this is John from Turbot. If you're looking for quick demos of SteamPipe, you're in the right place. Here's a Pipes query that finds new AWS IAM access keys. It's our policy to notify when new keys are created, and to do that, we're going to use the new Pipes Zapier integration. It's a two-step workflow. Step one runs a Pipes query and triggers the workflow when new rows are returned from the query. In step two, we send an email using fields from the query. Let's edit this app to see how this works. For the trigger, we've chosen the Turbot Pipes app. There's only one vent, new row. I'm using my Turbot Pipes account that I've logged into. I've chosen a workspace. And here's the query. When you test the query, Pipes returns a couple of recent records. Here's one for Pam Beasley. We'll use that one. For step two, we're using Gmail, and I've logged into my account there. In the action, I specify an email address. And for the subject and body, I'm using fields from the query, plus some text that I've typed in. Testing this step sends the email. And here's my notification that Pam created a new access key. So that's an example of a workflow where pipes is the trigger. Now let's look at a different case where pipes runs in the middle of a workflow. The trigger here is a new issue created in JIRA. The scenario is that when the title of the issue mentions an IP address, it's a request to add details about the IP address to the issue. So the trigger is a new issue in JIRA. A pipes query then runs looking for an IP address in the title of the issue. And if one is found, the query returns additional facts about the IP address and relays that to a JIRA step that adds the details into the issue as a comment. Over in JIRA, here's an issue, LW15, that asks, please have a look at the IP address 10.84.1.0. So here's the trigger, a new issue in JIRA. I've logged into my account here, the event new issue. We're in the launch week project. The test in this case finds recent new issues. This is the one we're looking for, LW15. So we'll continue with that one. And now we're in step two, the pipe step. The action here is a query. The query receives the issue summary or title from JIRA, which in this case does mention an IP address. The query matches the IP address and then joins it with information from AWS VPC and AWS VPC Security Group. These are the query results. So we're also adding an account ID, a security group ID, and a VPC ID. And here's the final step in JIRA again. You choose an issue, and we'll fill in the comment with fields from the pipes query. We'll test that step. The comment's been sent. And over in JIRA, we can see that the comment's been added to that issue. And that's Pipes plus Zapier in a nutshell. You can use Pipes to trigger a workflow that sends query results to another step. And you can use it in the middle of a workflow where the trigger sends some data to Pipes, which processes it and passes results along to another step in the pipeline. Thanks for watching. If your organization could benefit from Turbot Pipes, get started today with a free developer account at turbot.com pipes. See the video description for links and details.